how to find out the total elongation in a uniformly tapered bar. So let us have a bar which has certain dia D1 and it is uniformly getting tapered. The dia is uniformly decreasing and finally the dia becomes another dia. Suppose the dia at this point is D1 and it's at this point the dia is D2. Right? So, so it is uniformly tapered bar and we have applied the forces at two points. So here suppose the force applied is P and as you know that for static equilibrium same force should be applied so that the body may be in static equilibrium P and a dia here is D1 and dia here is D2. So how to find out the elongation in this part and our main uh, formula you as you know that formula uh, for uh, uh, for deformation is delta L will be equal to PL upon AE. But can we apply this formula directly here? No, because the area of cross section A is not uniform. When, the, when we derive this formula, the area of cross section was uniform. But here, but here area of cross section is not uniform. Then what to do that? What we can do is, we can take a small element dx at certain distance x and then find out the deformation in that small element dx and then integrate it for the entire length from 0 to L, right? So this we can do. So what we can do is we can take a small element dx. Suppose the dia of this part is dx, d, d uh, subscript x, this is a different thing, d subscript x and the length, the thickness of this part is dx at a distance x from the edge, one edge. So here x is equal to 0 and from here to here the total length is L. So it is given, the length L is given. So we have chosen the bigger side because we are seeing that the tapering is from higher to lower but you can do opposite also. You can take x in this direction also but we have taken x from higher dia to lower dia. So x we have taken in this direction, x is taken at 0 at this point and x will be L at this point and total length is L. So our aim is to find out deformation in total length L. What we can do is we can find deformation in this small dia, uh, is small thickness dx uh, uh, which is of dx, d subscript x. So these two dx are different. This dx is d subscript x which is at a distance x and this dx is uh, differential of x, right, small element. So how to find out deformation in this small element? So we have, we can use the same formula delta in dx change in uh, deformation in uh, dx that will be equal to p load applied is p p l l is the length which is dx which is small dx this is the thickness length upon area area suppose area of this part is ax ax the area which is at a distance x upon e suppose the material has modulus of rigidity uh, modulus of uh, elasticity capital E. So we, we can integrate this to find out total deformation but what is Ax area at distance x what is this area. So Ax will be equal to Ax will be equal to pi by 4 d which is at a distance x square d subscript x square. So this is area. But dx is not given to us because this we have chosen uh, arbitrary. But we, what we have given is d1 and d2. So we have to use uh, we have to uh, use d1 dx in terms of d1 and d2. So how to find out dx this d subscript x in terms of d1 and d2. So here we can use unitary method. 
you have uh, done unitary method in up to your 10th class that if something is getting tapered and it is uniform then you can apply directly the formula for that that the, at certain distance at certain distance x the dia initially was d1 and it is reducing so unitary method can be used that dia at x will be equal to the decrease in the actual dia d1 minus the difference in dia from here to here difference in dia from here to here is d1 minus d2 and this difference is l distance so d1 minus d2 by l so this difference is in l distance multiplied by how much is the difference in x distance multiplied by x so this is the dia at a distance x at a distance x from the initial point which is uh, at a dia d1 so d1 minus something how much is the minus d1 minus d2 by l into x unitary method we have directly used which you already have uh, read up to 10th class so this is our dx and this we have to integrate use it here and then integrate so to make it uh, integration convenient easy you what you can do is let us introduce some constant d1 minus d2 by l is a constant so say this is k so we can directly use dx will be equal to d subscript x will be equal to d1 minus kx this we can use in this formula so now ax is pi by 4 d subscript x square so this is d1 minus kx whole square this is area at certain distance x now put it here so delta dx will be equal to p dx by pi by 4 d1 minus kx whole square into e the constant term can be taken out and then we can integrate so if we integrate it delta dx from 0 to l and uh, and also integrate it this is 4p by pi e integration of dx by d1 d1 minus kx whole square from 0 to l now this integration is a mathematics part i will not do the integration of this because this is a mathematics part right you can do it uh, on your own so what i can do is uh, i can write the result because this definition is very easy and you can do on your own uh, in mathematics uh, uh, in mathematics books you can see the integration of this type of results so the integration of uh, the delta l total uh, uh, differentiation uh, deformation in the bar will be equal to 4p by pi e and uh, when you integrate it you will get what you will get that is uh, l when you integrate it and um, then put the limit upper limit and lower limit you will get l by d1 d2 this result you will get right so finally you will get delta l will be equal to 4 p l upon pi d1 d2 e this result you will get right and this result can further be simplified in a different way that delta l will be equal to p l upon pi by 4 d1 d2 e why we have written this in this way because pi by 4 d square is the area right so it will be easy to remember this that p l upon pi by 4 d1 initial dia and d2 uh, uh, af dia after taper right so if in this case if d1 is equal to d2 what you will get you will get delta l as pl upon pi by 4 d square e and which is nothing but that is the same result which we are using continuously pl upon ae so this is the same result which we are using in our Uh, strength of material right 
So this is how we find out the deformation in a uniformly tapered bar, right? What we have done is uh, uh, given was the d1 dia and is tapered to d2 dia in a length L. And our aim was to find out the deformation in the bar if a P force is applied. P force should be same because it should be statically uh, in equilibrium. So what we have done because area of cross section is varying. So we cannot directly put uh, apply this formula. So what we have done, we have taken a small element dx, dx small element of thickness dx, and the dia is d subscript x at a distance x from one of the edge, and this is our reference point. X is zero. X is equal to l here, right? Now we have to find out what is the dia of this part. So from unitary method, we have obtained the dia of this part, and then we have find out the area area which we are going to use in this formula area of this cross section with small small thickness right so area is pi by 4 d1 minus kx whole square where k is a constant given by d1 minus d2 by l now we have found out using this formula only the deformation in this small thickness dx so delta dx will be equal to p into thickness or length dx upon ae and area we have already found out pi by 4 d1 minus kx whole square we have put here and then we have integrated it from 0 to l integration you can done and then by integration you will get this result l upon d1 d2 applying the lower upper and lower limits and then you will find out that delta l is equal to 4 p l upon pi d1 d2 e and then <coughs> we have it uh, uh, re uh, settled these things that p l upon pi by 4 we have taken downward pi by 4 d1 d2 because pi by 4 d square is the area so it will be easy to uh, remember this formula like this right so you can remember this formula in this way so if d1 is equal to d2 delta l will be equal to pl upon pi by 4 d square e and this is the area of cross section so delta l is pl upon ae which is the main result which we are using in our strength of materials